Hey friends, welcome back. I am so happy that you're here with me today. Um, I found some really fun trash to treasure projects. But real quick, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your comments and let you know how much I'm enjoying reading them. It has been so fun to just kind of get to know some of you. It's neat that I'm in the world when there is just so much division and hate. this thing that we have in common can draw together people from all different backgrounds, all different beliefs, all different upbringings, and it doesn't matter because really we're all the same on the inside anyway. So let's get started. All right, so here's what we have. I found first this adorable scale. I am in love with this. Actually, I was in Hobby Lobby the other day and I saw the farmhouse version of this exact same scale. So I think this is gonna be adorable with just a quick coat of paint, maybe a candle sitting in here, something like that. But I think this is a fun find. I also found two shutters and I think anytime you are thrifting and you find shutters just grab them there are a bazillion things you can do with them um, these actually look pretty nice and clean on camera but they could really use a coat of paint so we're gonna give these just a rustic look and I think they're gonna turn out really cute there's actually four in the store um, when I was grabbing them and I just heard behind me this lady go, oh, and she ran up and grabbed the other two. So I only got two, but that's good. We can both enjoy them. And to go with the shutters, I found two hanging baskets. So obviously they're not exactly the same, but I like that they will lend a symmetrical look, but just still have some visual interest without being totally identical. I think this one might be a toilet paper roll holder, but we're just not gonna talk about that. It's gonna look cute when we're done. All right, so the very first thing I wanna do is start painting this adorable little scale. I can't wait to give it a farmhouse style makeover. All right, so first I'm just gonna wipe this down using a little Windex because it looks like somebody definitely used real food in it and I don't want any grease or anything to mess up the paint job. I don't wanna get paint on the face of the scale, but since it's round, it would be a little hard to block it off with tape. So I'm just gonna use a little press and seal and use a knife to cut it right around the edges. All right, I think that'll work. And if a tiny bit of paint gets on the glass, we can always wipe it off. So I am going to use this folk art um, chalk paint in Sage. Now, if this were purely for decorative purposes, I would 100% just slap a coat of spray paint on this and call it done. However, when I brought it home, my girls were obsessed with this. They were instantly playing grocery store and weighing everything. And honestly, they were kind of learning about fractions and decimals and math. So I think that there are gonna be a lot of fingers touching this. So that's why I'm gonna go with chalk paint because it won't chip off as easily and just like it doesn't have all the chemicals in it that spray paint has and I don't want their little fingers touching that. So while the scale dries, let's get started on these shutters. First things first, I just wanna take off all of the hardware and then we'll start with a coat of paint. All right, now that all that hardware is off, I want these shutters to look like rustic old weathered wood. So to do that, I am first going to put some of this French linen chalk paint mixed with a bit of this Anita's all-purpose acrylic in warm brown. So I am just using a chip brush, probably go back and forth between these two sizes so that I can kind of make a really rough weathered look here. 
You can see here that I'm not even mixing the colors together. I just have them side by side in the bowl and then I'm putting my brush in so that both colors get on the brush and they kind of mix together while I paint them onto the shutter. So there's the first coat and now I'll just go back and do the same thing to the other one. Now that this first coat is dry, I want to go ahead and with some white chalk paint, brush, really, really lightly brush a coat of white over this to make it look like whitewashed wood. You can see that this coat is not done perfectly. It's just rough and textured and thrown on. But once we add the white over it, it's gonna really take on a wood type look. And I think it's gonna add a lot of warmth to my dining room. So I just grabbed some folk art home decor chalk paint in Adirondack. I think this is my favorite shade of white to use. It's just kind of right in between, not too warm and not too cool. And so I'm using a dry chip brush and I just have some of this paint and the key here is to use a tiny, tiny bit of paint. So I kind of dip it in and then dab it off. And then we're just gonna lightly brush it over the first coat of paint. You can always add more. So I like to start out light and then just kind of build to the look that I want. And there you go, looks just like weathered wood. So the next thing I wanna do is just paint the hanging baskets that I got white and we'll put those on top of this with some flowers. I think it's gonna be really pretty. So even though this basket is already a pretty color, I'm really after a softer look. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a quick coat of the same white chalk paint that I used on the shutters. And then we'll do the same to the other basket so that they are a matching pair. As it turns out, I felt like the green that I picked out had too much blue in it and white would have just been more versatile so I could use it anywhere in the house. So this little guy is getting painted again and this time it's going white. And while that dries, let's finish up these baskets. I felt like they needed a little something else. So I dug out these old chalkboards that I had left over from a birthday party, and I'm gonna just attach them to the front of the basket with some hot glue. Alright, so now I'm just going to attach the basket to the painted shutter and then we'll add some flowers. And then again to the other one. So here they are, all finished. Okay, so this little guy is white now, and let's go ahead and peel off the cling wrap. I think it won't be totally clean, but I think I can kind of just um, scrape out whatever is stuck to the glass. Yeah. So now that the scale is white, I took off the saran wrap and cleaned up around the edges. I just want to add a little distressed detail to it. So I'm gonna use some of this multi-surface paint and licorice just because it's what I had on hand. And I wanna kind of just dab on a little bit of black here and there to give a distressed look. I don't wanna sand off for this distressing because um, there's metal underneath. So I'm kind of getting off as much as I can off of my brush. And then I'm gonna go around the edges and just kind of put in a few little splotches here and there 
And I even think I might want a different brush than So that. I'm gonna use this brush instead. I think it'll give me a little more control, but still just using a tiny bit of paint. Much better. And I'm gonna randomly kind of dab on this look. just around the edges and the corners where it would naturally show wear. Now that it's finished, I just wanted to add a little candle and some greenery around the edges to finish it off. And that is it. I just adore this little scale and I'm also excited that there are so many different ways to use and decorate with it. That's everything. I'm so happy that you stopped by today. I hope you enjoyed these projects and if you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.